today we have Lou Center's founder Eric Hedy with us and Chloe from BT Time Media. So let's start our first questions. Lou Center has positioned itself as a key player in Indonesia data center market. So what strategy have been most effective in driving your growth in this competitive industry? All right, I think. The first time, let me introduce myself. My name is Eric Hadi from Nusantara Data Center Academy. So in terms of the digital realm, especially for data center, we play a vital role in terms of providing education to the industry. And I think uh, Indonesia, we have a big challenge whereby we have a big gap of talents capable of not only operating data centers, but also designing, building, maintaining, and also doing construction you know, in terms of the building of the data center. So this is one of the things that we are doing on a daily basis to provide a stable supply of manpower to the digital industry, especially in the data center ecosystem. Hey, thank you. So now come the second questions. As demand for data storage and processing continues to surge, how is new center scaling its infrastructure to meet the needs of both local and international clients? All right, so that question might not be directly relevant, but in terms of Nusantara, what we do is that because we are also working in the industry with the Data Center Association. The Data Center Association is very open in terms of getting new insights, new educations, new knowledge from the technology providers and also technology vendors. So this is how Nusantara is coming to play. We are delivering different programs and also incorporating different education uh, insights from different brands, from different principles to be able to upscale or upscale the knowledge of the Indonesian talents. So with increasing importance of data sovereignty, how does New Center ensure compliance with Indonesia's data localization regulations while maintaining global standards? I think this is a very important question regarding data sovereignty. Indonesia itself in 2012 has released uh, what we call the Peraturan Pemerintah or the Government Regulation number 82. And then the regulation is also being updated with Government Regulation number 71, whereby it regulates the data protection and also the data handling, data management for all the transactions happening in Indonesia, especially those who are public data. So I think Indonesia is really moving forward in terms of how we manage public data and I look forward as well because from the likes of it, uh, the government is also going to strengthen the data uh, management and data handling for the benefits of the people of Indonesia. So what does sustainability play in New Center's data center operations and what initiatives are you implementing to reduce your environmental impact? Okay, I think ESG is a very big topic in Indonesia, especially in the data center space. What we are doing right now is that we keep educating the key players in the data center market in terms of how they would be able to implement, number one is energy efficiency, and the second one is energy storage and energy distribution, which are efficient enough to power up the data center. The other thing is that renewable energy is also coming into play in Indonesia. There's a lot of talks and also discussion on how we could incorporate more renewable energies to the data center, supporting the digital industry. So, in what ways new center leveraging emerging technologies such as AI and edge computing to enhance its data center services? Okay, so AI itself is a very big topic in Indonesia. We ourselves in Nusantara Academy, we are producing our own podcast throughout this year for the second season. I think all the topics are really relevant to AI. In terms of AI, there are several things that the central government is doing itself. There are also private players who are already putting the investments with different, I would say, AI providers in Indonesia, both software and hardware. And it is going to be exciting and interesting to see how the AI ecosystem is developing. The other important things for Indonesia is that Indonesia has its own, I would say, AI initiative. And uh, AI education development is also a very important aspect 
that the government is also putting a lot of attention. And also in cybersecurity being a critical concern of data centers, what measures have the center put in place to safeguard client data against invoices threats? Okay, so for data center itself, data center focuses in terms of safeguarding the data in terms of physical security. So in terms of logical security or IT security or even network security, it's also coming to play whereby it has to be a collaboration with the platform provider. So in terms of data center, I think currently Indonesia is quite prudent in terms of securing the data physically as well as you know, including the access control of who is authorized to actually access the data physically. So this is already in place for Indonesia. So also, as the Indonesian market continues to develop, how does the new center plan to expand its footprint and what regions or sectors are you targeting to for the future growth? I think in terms of talents, uh, the big challenge that we have right now is number one, we are short of talent. The second one is there's no dedicated education program specifically to create new talents in the data center. This is what we are doing right now, Nusantara. I think we are the only institution or the only organization that is doing this in Indonesia. But the other thing that is very important as well is that in terms of creating the awareness of how a data center operates is also very important. So Nusantara strives in terms of not only educating, but we are also creating awareness in the market of what needs to be present in terms of the talents itself. So how does New Center ensure reliability and uptime of its data centers, especially in the face of natural disasters and other potential disruptions? So in terms of data center, there are different standards uh, and also guidelines of how data center should operate in terms of the site selection, so the location itself matters and I think currently the Indonesian data center players, we have been implementing these guidelines you know, to actually accommodate the safeguarding in terms of natural disasters. And there's also the guideline whereby the main data center and also the backup disaster recovery center should be at least 10 to 30 kilometers away. So this kind of things has been implemented. I think the challenge is finding the right location in Indonesia because as all, we all know that Indonesia is a maritime country. So most of Indonesia is actually islands. So the challenge would be number one, selecting the right location. Number two is powering up that location. Number three is connectivity. So looking at, at what are new centers country goals and how do you see the data center landscape in Indonesia evolving over the next decade? So Nusantara has a long-term goal to become partners for the Indonesian data center or digital industry. So we partner with the private sector and also we partner with government in terms of delivering different education programs for the industry itself. So Nusantara comprises of five key elements. Number one is the academics. Number two is businesses. Number three is community or associations. Number four is government. And number five is media. We believe that these five key components is essential and is very important for us to be able to attain the long-term goal. In terms of the data center industry itself, I think for the next five to 10 years, it's only going to grow. So as the digitalization also grows in the country and also in the region, data center is even going to get bigger. The challenge is how do we tackle the talent shortage and also the education program, not only to create the new talents to be able to work in the industry, but also for existing talents because they need to be upskilled all the time. And this is where Nusantara is actually playing our role in the whole digital ecosystem. Thank you for today. So yes, it's been very exciting a lot. So thanks. Thank you.